We will talk now about depth of field. This is one of the favorite subjects of cinematographers, but it's also very important when you do use or set up a camera. Whenever you set up a camera and the lighting is not proper, you're now limiting your depth of field. Whenever we have a different aperture, we limit the amount of light at different focal length. When the object is slightly out of focus, either closer or, or further away, it becomes blurry. When the depth of field is low, the objects that are closer or further away become softer or blurrier or less defined. In film, when, a, when you have a foreground and a background, it's extremely desirable. And when we go back to the slide, exposure and composition, you will see that the depth of field phenomenon was very well utilized to create a good composition of the picture. And the ratio of this depth of field can be set by the iris setting. When you have a high depth of field, everything is in focus. And sometimes uh, this is very desirable when you're describing an object, or maybe not so if there's a conference and things are happening be behind the presenter which you don't want to bring to the attention of the viewer. So in that case, you want to have a lower depth of field. For example, in this slide here, how can we achieve these two pictures without overexposing or underexposing? And I leave that open so you will tell me, send, me, send us an email and let us know what you think. How can these two pictures be achieved with proper exposure but different depth of field.